Property is a ubiquitous everyday phenomenon. In society, almost everyone owns at least something, whether it be a bicycle, a smartphone, or a washing machine. When we move beyond everyday items, however, to consider bequeathing a fortune, ownership of a company, or speculation on the stock market, things look very different. Almost half of the population in Germany possess none of these assets, while a small number of individuals possess quite a lot. The richest 10% possesses around two-thirds of the wealth. Globally, wealth distribution is even more unequal. And property is not merely a question of affluence and poverty. Property also leads to opportunities, to influence and to power, whether that be in everyday life, in business or in politics. It plays a fundamental role in shaping people's identities and their relationships with one another. Property relations are always in flux. Struggles for social rights and securities in the second half of the 20th century have led Western welfare states to establish a greater protection for assetless individuals, even if those protections apply to just a small fraction of the global population. Since the 1980s, the balance of power has changed again. Private property has regained importance, along with the rapid growth in legacies and fortunes, and the privatization of public services has taken place in a number of different waves. But that is not the end of the story. Property regimes are currently subject to challenge, not just as a result of global financial and economic crisis, but also in connection with technological developments, political conflicts and ecological crisis. What changes in our thinking about property for example, when digital technology enables us to copy or share films and books free of charge. What kinds of conflicts arise in connection with new forms of property? When wind farm operators argue about who owns the wind. When climate change triggers new debates regarding usage of the oceans and atmosphere. When people ask who owns the data. These debates point beyond conventional notions of ownership and lead us to pose new sets of questions even to ask about alternatives to ownership itself. These questions form the focus of the Collaborative Research Center Structural Change of Property, based at the Universities of Jena and Erfurt. Social scientists and humanities scholars are conducting research, together with colleagues from law and economics, to explore the history, present and future of property across 23 different research projects. You can learn more about this research on our website, through our podcast and regular blog spots, or at our public events and workshops. You can also visit our digital library of property online, where you will find texts, sources and films connected to the themes of our research.